We heard from Jay Powell again. He seemed pretty consistent with what he's been saying. He said March cut, very unlikely. And then still, we see the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ close at new highs. What does that tell you about this market? Yeah, the market was very geared on these rate cuts, right? So Powell is really confirming, like, you know, this is not going to happen so soon. It may happen sometime this year. And I think that is uncertainty for the markets, and that's why they're there. Wait, so if it's uncertainty for the markets, why are they finishing at highs? Yeah, I think on Friday it was really about the economy, right? Like okay. if you get a strong jobs number and it really gives you the sense of like the economy is absolutely not in a recession, that supported the stock market. But okay. I think the uncertainty about the rate cut is maybe a little trepidation this morning on the market. All right, so maybe some trepidation this morning, but you're saying when it comes to the economy, good news is now officially good news, something that we said in the beginning of the show. Okay, let me go to that jobs report. You're looking at the real compensation number. It came in at almost 2%. Why is the real compensation number important to you? Yeah, so the Fed has done a good job bringing inflation so far down. So what people are experiencing is that their real incomes are going up. It's kind of like a tax cut. And I think this is what's supporting the market and the, and the economy together. Why are you seeing these strong job gains too? Because people want to get back into the labor force to make that real income. So I think it's a real good story in that sense. The Fed just has to keep going, I think, for some period with this high rate to get that inflation to 2%. That's what Powell's message was. Okay, so you feel good about the economy. A very different story when it comes to the financials, specifically the regional banks. You're saying there's risk in your mind that just jumps off the page. Yeah. Jay Powell, he actually addressed that last night on 60 Minutes. I want to play this for you. I want to get your opinion on what he had to say. What is the likelihood of another real estate-led banking crisis? I don't think I don't think that's likely. We looked at the larger banks balance sheets and it appears to be a manageable problem. There's some smaller and regional banks that have concentrated exposures in these areas that are challenged. And, you know, we're working with them. All right. Powell went on to say a few may have to close if you have to merge. But again, he said he's working with them. You back to you. You say the risk is jumping off the page. In particular, you're looking at New York Community Bank. Um, you're looking at the commercial real estate exposure when it comes to multifamilies, which is what was largely part of the issue that we saw last week, and also office. But when I look at New York Community Bank, they have twice the multifamily exposure of their peers, half the office. I thought it was the other way around. I thought office was the risk and multifamily was the safer bet. Yeah, I think the issue with New York Community Bank is that they have these rent control properties, and apparently that's where the loans are really falling okay. in arrears. And suddenly the market got a sense of like, it's just not an office issue alone. It's also other properties. And this, I think, the tension in the market about we haven't gotten really out of this regional bank crisis just yet. And so whether it's these office properties or it's these rental control properties, it seems to be souring. And I think this is what Powell is looking at, too, probably saying, like, okay. there will be banks that are having a trouble. So in your mind, it's just all commercial real estate. Before, I think a lot of people thought multifamilies were safe. This might be a bit of an outlier because it's rent control. It's not a lot of rent control in other parts of the country. But you're saying, in your mind, all of commercial real estate is a risk? It could be. But I also want to emphasize, though, that you're talking about specific banks so far. Right. You know, last year we had Silicon Valley Bank with its treasuries on the portfolio, and that had the market attention. This year is really about the real economy, that, yeah, you get parts of commercial real estate that's in the rears, and that's start to build. Okay. So it's a risk. Yeah.